Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Testers. So far, we have discussed about a different type of a HTTP method. Those were a theory. I hope you are clear about the theory. And from this, we are moving forward with a executing HTTP request on a postman. So let's kick start. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to Fundu Testers. Camera rolling action. During the initial sessions, we had set up a postman. This is how postman gonna look like. Here we have created a basically a workspace. If you're not aware how to create a workspace, then basically you just need to click on the workspace and create a workspace. Here you need to provide a name. Like uh, basically we are going to select a blank uh, workspace template. Here they are provided some basic templates. But uh, for a testing, we no need to go with any specific template. We can go with a basic templates and we can do pretty much. So we have to click on the next and we have to give a name and then just create a workspace. But here I have created uh, this sessions, which is a YouTube Fundu testers. And for this, basically uh, here you can see the overview of a workspace. We can close this because it is no longer needed. And you can see the plus button here. Once I click on a plus button, it will open a template. So here, basically we have to add a, either it can be a get, post, boot or delete, whatever request it can be. And here we have to specify the request method and we need to provide the, all the details. Here we have to provide a base URI and endpoint. This is the request session. All the request related things we are adding here, like parameters, authorization, headers, body, prerequisite if any, uh, test and settings, all this comes into a request data and here we will get a response. So first of all, we are going to work on a get request. So how get request will look like. So for that, we are going to use this website. Here we have a couple of test APIs. So here we can see uh, list user, single user, single user, not found and multiple. So these are many get requests. So let's get with a basics one. So first one is uh, if I copy the endpoints, this is the endpoint and I'm going to paste on a postman. This much is a base URI and later on after slash API slash user. So these are the endpoint to get basically user details. List user. So they have given an API endpoint name which is user and before that they are adding a API and after question mark they are passing up query parameters uh, as we discussed during the get session we have query parameter as well as the path parameter so here we are passing a query parameter and if i need to pass a multiple query parameter then basically i can add here so like a, another value and value is a let's say nissan so it will automatically comes here so and like this it is appended with the base URI. and if i can directly i can directly add also so like a test is equal to one two three so wherever I, if I'm adding, I'm adding here, it will reflect with a query params. If I'm adding here, then it will reflect with here. And now one more trick is, so get request, we can pass a multiple parameters. So every time no need to write uh, new and new query parameters. We can remove this, but it will be like that. So we can basically uncheck the data. If I'm unchecking this too, then it will automatically get removed. And later on in future, let's say I need to use this, then simply I can select the parameters so now we are going to hit the get request if i hit this i'll get this response the response code is a 200 it took 52 milliseconds time and response size is a 1.92 kb and this is the response data for api testing or api automation we need to understand how json look like so here in json there are a couple of properties so it is starting with the flower brushes so if it is starting with the flower brushes it means it is a json object if it is starting with the uh, this kind of brushes angle brushes then we can say it is a json array so in looking forward in future remember one thing if the data is starting with the flower brushes then it is a json ob object and it is starting with the angle brushes then it is a json array so let's understand in the details. So for example, let's say this JSON file is invalid. Then how can we make sure that? So there is a one website which is a JSON lint. JSON lint, we have to go to this website and paste entire JSON. And if I'm removing like a one comma from the here, and if I wait the JSON, it will say 
parsing error so something is missing so if i add the colon here it is highlighted the here the colon is missing so if i add the colon here and then i do the validate the json so now it is saying json is valid and json is a key and value pair so how basically the data would be like if i'm writing a json so i have first i need to create a json object and then i need to pass a multiple value so let's say for example value one so every value let's say i'm expecting a string value then i have to write values in a double quote like a nissant go ahead and if i have another value if i have only one value then fine json is complete but if i wanted to add another value then i have to add a comma and then i have to basically add another value so for example let's say now i wanted to add a integer number so like a mobile number i wanted to store this number basically so number we are not passing in a double quote but here string we have to pass in a double quote so if i do the valid json this json is valid apart from what else data we can add so it's a boolean data let's say uh, i'm acting or uh, active on instagram so uh, there is a flag active insta and colon i can pass it true or false so basically if i'm passing it true which means i'm acting on social media so basically i can pass it true or false value so again i'm going to add the json it is saying true what else i can add which is a null data so let's say i don't have anything let's say test parameter and data is null i don't think this value basically doesn't have any data so like this i can store so all in all here i have added a four parameters and first one is a string so if string data we have to pass key and value in a double quote and next parameter we have to pass a comma colon uh, comma and uh, let's say i wanted to add a integer value or decimal value then directly we can pass value in a, without a double quote so remember only string we have to pass in a double quote rest value will go as it is now let's say here we can see the data is in the json object so basically json object hold a key and value pair if i have for one data i have multiple things then i can not pass as a value i need to create another object so that will be nested json so here data let's say this is the another data in data this is a data of a, for example student data student data i can store like this if i have one data but what if i have multiple data let's say i am picking another student data and i am adding here colon now it is saying a invalid json so because one key can hold one object but one key cannot hold multiple objects so for that we have to add object into a json array so if i add the json array the braces here this is a valid data so one basically one key is holding a one value it can be a string it can be object so this the outer layer is a json array and inside that i have multiple json objects so like that i can add so on for example outer also i wanted to do the same thing so simply i copy this and instead of this data i can pass these things and if i validate the json this json is valid and if you are not able to understand the json then there is a one more tool which is a json beautifier you need to search json beautifier and you need to go to the code beautify dot org this is the website here you need to paste your json file and you can change the node so here we can see the there are four object at the outer layer so which is a value mobile number active insta and student data i can see there are four parameters at the outer layer so above first layer there are four data inside that student data there are two more data so it's a zero index and one index because array always start with a zero one two three four like that so we have two data basically id7 and id8 these are outer layers so if i expand this here inside the first layer this one there are four data id email first name last name and outer again the second layer there is a one data but here at the outer we are storing another nested data so it is like this another one array inside that two json objects so like this json should work and you can validate and you can understand the uh, json file now we have couple of more apis here the single user let's say i wanted to get a single user so they are passing as a earlier they have passed as a query parameter now they are passing as a path parameter so if i remove this and i am passing a let's say i want only single user so i'm passing a two which is a path parameter and i can send this so i'm getting a data of only one user you can see earlier the data was like this 
something like this multiple user data but now we are getting only one user data so here the endpoint it is calling list user and it is calling a single user and another is a invalid so these two are a valid request and we are getting a response as a 200 now we have an invalid api so if i'm passing a let's say invalid id in id as i discussed we have to pass a multiple do the boundary value analysis of based on that we have to come up with a different parameter so here it, it is accepting valid data which user has stored in a server i need to pass the id based on that i will receive a detail but let's say i'm passing an invalid id for it that data is not exist on a server and if i click hit i am saying it is saying 404 user not found basically i am sending invalid data to the server so that's why server has written a 404 now you need to understand what is a 404 so simply go to google 404 http code just look this and it is saying 404 means a not found status code indicates that server cannot find the request resources whatever data we have requested to proceed and server should date uh, send on a client ideally that data is not present that's why we are getting this error so this is a negative scenario now there are a couple of more get requests it is saying list of users so basically we are passing unknown instead of a user instead of a user passing unknown see the whatever data server has it is sending all the data so this is how get request gonna look like you have a good understanding for a get request for a positive and negative responses and in next session we are going to discuss about a http post method i hope it is clear and if you have any doubts feel free to ask me in a comment section and don't forget to like and share thank you so much